What is up guys, my name is Creature Play, and welcome to my newest video. Finally decided to do my first gameplay video. Had a couple people in comments been asking forever, decided why not throw one up. Um, I've played a few games with this guy, this was a friendly, um, as the name applies, with one of my friends. Um, we've played a few games and I really like playing with him because he's fairly clean, you know, like we both don't run nanos. I don't even know how to run nanos and it was just a really fun, uh, evenly matched game. Um, you saw right there, I just do want to point out, I love that Dree Archer. If you guys are looking for a new kick or punt returner, that Campus Hero uh, Dree Archer is one of my favorites I've used all year for that position. Um, I've been rocking that boss LT as you saw if you saw my last review on him I probably will not be getting rid of him. I love him. He's so fun to play with um, He breaks so many tackles. And he's just so fast. It's ridiculous uh, This is one of my favorite plays to run by the way um, If you send three verts out on one side on trip side and you out your halfback to the left or the, the side underneath where the verts are going it's a really awesome play, obviously depending on the coverage, but one of my favorite plays to run. Uh, Boss Gronk is ridiculously glitchy, as you just saw. Um, this game was really fun. Uh, I'm not going to get too into it because I know I always get guff for it and uh, I'm going to look like a tinfoil hat person, but um, there is absolutely an equalizer in friendly games. There's not one in head-to-head. -head. I'm not going to even begin to argue with that because I know there isn't, but in friendly games it seems there is absolutely at least something momentum-based at the very, very least. Um, I don't know what it is, but there's this playing a game like this, my, I have a 99 over squad and the person I'm playing against I think was at 97, and playing a fairly matched game rarely happens. This was one of the first games we had played in a while where I was actually able to, you know, have, <laughs> be able to have my, my offensive line hold and uh, I didn't get sacked eight times in the first two quarters and my coverage wasn't being completely blown by my secondary, but um, either way, uh, not to get too far into it, but it's just difficult um, playing with some of my friends just because it's so overpowered in their favor a lot of the times we do play, but uh, still try to make the most out of it. I'm not like too well versed in you know YouTube culture and a lot of the streamers and game players. Um, look at how God he's such a monster. Anyway, um, but you know I'm I'm trying to figure out how to do this because I'm really not into trying to act hype and you know trying to yell in front of everybody and scream because I think that's just very overwhelming. And I'm also trying to not crack corny jokes that you know just for the sake of being corny I guess. So as this is my first gameplay video, I just ask, uh, you know, bear with me. I'm sure I am probably really boring to listen to. I'm boring myself uh, just trying to figure out what to say, but um, I, I have pity on anybody who's actually going to attempt to watch this. I tried to make the video as short as I could just because I know uh, sitting on your computer watching a 20, 20 to 25 minute long video um, would not be very entertaining. Um, Vinatieri here with the extra point after the touchdown. I uh, finally decided to build him today. Um, I've been grabbing that Lambo card anytime I've been seeing him up for cheap around ten to you know ten and under. I think I've been just patiently waiting since he came out, and I finally built him because I had all the elites and all the golds already in my binder. Anyway, deep ball thrown down right at the end of the half, and Reed is there for the pick. Uh, going into the second half, I'm up seven, and he will take the ball to start off the second half. Uh, inside zone run to the left with Marshawn, and he gets tackled immediately. That is that golden ticket clowny I picked up. I absolutely love that card. I thought he was my favorite um, and best lineman I had on my defense until I picked up that boss LT a, a few days ago, and he is so good I can't even put into words how good that card is. And Sherman with the pick off of the tip and uh, f starting to get some lag. Look at that even more lag. I just want to point out how nice that juke was. I love I love double juking in this game so much. Sherman takes it back for the pick six, and that'll put me up 14 with the extra point. And we'll go ahead and get the ball right back off to him. First and 10, 240 left in the third. Marshawn takes it again, and Lee... Lee, I ran that nickel blitz, uh, overload blitz, and Lee is there to pick it up immediately. Second and nine, fakes the handoff to Marshawn and passes it. Sherman is there for the SWAT. I think I shaded inside on that one. Third and nine, fakes the handoff to Marshawn again. He's going to roll out, 
and uh, put that pressure on him and Lane is there to pick up that interception that I pretty much forced from that pressure. I love that play right there. Um, I pretty much know I'm going to run on this play and anytime Cam with the shed behind the line of scrimmage and another that is that is a prime play right there example of why I love this card so much. Also, you gotta love plays like this. Larry Allen, uh, double teaming up whoever that is, just decides to let him go and of course come in for the sack. You gotta love that. Just feel free, buddy. I see you're trying to get in. Let me get out of your way. Uh, second and 14, uh, that should have been a pick. I got trigger happy on that and I should not have thrown it to him. And Gronk still somehow able to make that glitchy catch. Unable to convert on that third, so I'll take the field goal. 355 left, makes a quick throw out to Baldwin, I think that was. 338, and Revis with the sack off of that dime flat, I think it's a DB strike. I love that play. He's going to take a timeout and slow the clock down. Second and 19 with 331 left, coming out in that dime flat again. He's going to try to break off a run, but Randall, Boss Randall is there to make that uh, quickly shut down. Uh, third and 22, he goes for it, and I'm able to block that down with Ed Reed again. Reed's kind of been a star this game. LT just barely misses that. Looks like he's going to go for the run. I came out in quarters, obviously expecting the pass. Uh, LT just barely missed that. He wasn't able to get there in time. Looks like he was going to lose about 10 to 15 if he would have got there. Cam out with that juke, and he fumbles, but looks like Herman Moore is there to pick it up. Good thing Moore was there. Um, that's the first time he's fumbled for me in probably 10 to 13 games. Bryant there to pick up the first for me. Going to the two-minute warning now. Coming out, I know the blitz is coming, so I'm going to send two drags over the middle, but I'm not able to get it off in time. I knew the blitz was coming, though. I'm going to try to run that again in anticipation of another blitz. Go with the high-pass cheese to Gronk regardless. Not able to come down with it. Try to keep it simple here and just go with some quick slants, get it off to either Baldwin or Moore. And he's got both of them locked down, so I uh, pretty much had to just choose one of the lesser evils there. Not able to convert, going to take the field goal. He's got a minute 48 left, uh, first and 10, down by 20. Fakes the handoff to Marshawn, and uh, I was not trying to come out in that. I definitely was trying to come out and cover two press, and some reason they came out in the DB strike. And that led Reed to be the only one to be covering that. So that was a great play by him taking advantage of my uh, my error. I didn't even realize that I had called that. Uh, minute 11 left, second and 10. Sherman there to pick that up right away. Uh, loss of yards, actually. Two yards. Third and 12. 56 seconds left. And right over the middle, he's wide open. Dion kind of that just goes to show you that even the best corner in the game still blows coverage sometimes in this Godforsaken game Gronk were there with the touchdown. He'll take it in on that mesh drag route play He's down 720 now with 44 seconds left. Uh, I get sacked the first play throw a quick one to Tomlinson uh, seven seconds left. I see something in the coverage I'm gonna try to send out Tomlinson on the streak see if I can get this to work Zero seconds left, and Tomlinson's left wide open, and he's going to take it in right at the end of the game with zero seconds left on the clock, and that'll end the game after the point after touchdown, obviously, and that'll put me up 27 to 7. I hope you guys liked this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this again. I really just am kind of testing the waters here. Um, I hope I wasn't too boring. I'm I'm sure I am because I bored myself, but either way, leave any feedback. If you guys want to see more, let me know. As always, thank you guys for watching. Take care.